Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Witani Hospitals podcast. In today's episode, we will talk about back pain, one of the most common health problems that affect adults and the elderly worldwide. We are here with Dr. Patara Kosanet, a spine surgeon at Witani Hospital, who has over 13 years of experience in providing such spinal surgeries on over 3,500 patients from different countries. So, hello, doctor, and thank you for taking your time from your busy schedule to talk with us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. So uh, for today's topic, I believe most of us, especially the officers who have to sit in front of the computer for hours and hours, and also the walkers who have to lift heavy things every day, might have experienced like aching, like shooting, burning, or stabbing sensation or pain in the upper back or in the lower back. So doctor, like, may I know what kind of back pain or sensations are the warning signs that need immediate medical treatment? Okay, so about the, the signs of the back pain that is not normal back pain. Yeah. So it may be including about the back pain together with some, some neurologic deficits, like mm-hmm. some nerve problems. Like okay. when you have some back pain together with the, the lost sensations, sure. you lost your muscle power, you cannot control your muscles, mm-hmm. or you have problems when you... you, you have to um, like urinations, mm-hmm. go to toilets or something like that, mm-hmm. or the back pain that you feel that you cannot bear, it. you mm-hmm. cannot bear the pain, mm-hmm. so you cannot move, you cannot do anything mm-hmm. with that pain, sure. or pain that come together with some fever, mm-hmm. so we may may have some infection or something like that. Okay. These are the, the red flag signs that is not normal back pain. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, doctor, may I know about the common causes of the back pain? Um, actually, the back pain is come, can come from, from many, many factors. Mm-hmm. Most common is from the muscles. Like every day we're sitting um, for long hours, sure. we're doing some, some activities, lifting things. Here's mm-hmm. the, the muscle when it's got strain or the muscle got some overload. We can have that back pain. Mm-hmm. Or another kind of back pain, we can, we can find it in some people that in elderly, that sure. when we're getting older, everything, like we use it for almost a decade or mm-hmm. <laughs> something like that. So um, the, um, the spine, the spine itself, the disc, the joint got some problems. Mm-hmm. So it's the, another kind of back pain, but most common is from the muscles. Okay. So like, how do you diagnose the cause of back pain? So first, first is the, the, the history of the pain, like mm-hmm. um, about when the pain like occurred, is related with anything, mm-hmm. it can help us to, to, to diagnose the problems. And then the physical examinations. Sure. So we, we can know about do you have any neurological deficits or just only the muscle strain or the point that you have pain. Mm-hmm. And then um, about the radiograph, sure. like normal X-ray or MRI mm-hmm. can, can show us more details. So with these things, we can, we can diagnose these problems. So may I know the treatment options for the back pain? Um, the treatment option is depend on what caused that pain, sure. right? If we have the pain, the back pain from the muscles, mostly it can can be solved with physical therapies, medications, mm-hmm. or you just take some rest. It mm-hmm. will be better. Yeah. But if the problem is come from from the joint problems, like the spine that got some problems inside, the disc that that collapse or something like that. Um, it also depends on the degrees of that problems too. Sure. If we have some spine problem, but it's not in the, the serious degrees, mm-hmm. so physical therapies can help us, some exercise can help us. But if the problem is in the, um, the moderate or severe degrees, so we may have to think about more invasive treatment, like some, some steroid injections into yeah. the spinal canal or mm-hmm. some operations, some surgery. Okay. So Dr. Greg, can you let us know the ways like how to take care of ourselves to prevent back pain or its recurrence after receiving the treatment? Yeah. So the first the first thing that we have to know is you have to figure out what caused your pain. Sure. Because if we treat it already, but you're still doing the same thing, so the yeah. pain can come again and again and again. It's true. Right? So the first thing when you have back pain you have to, to focus on that pain and mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. what caused your pain. Here's okay. the first thing. Okay. And second thing, 
uh, if we can make our back become mm-hmm. stronger, like mm-hmm. training your muscles, mm-hmm. doing like exercise regularly. So when the muscles become stronger, so it can hold more pressure. Mm-hmm. So it's maybe like less chance for you to get a pain again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and another thing is when you have pain, so just just like go to see doctor if you have the pain and you feel like mm, it's not normal pain sure. the pain that not relieved when you take some rest the pain that not 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 go away when you you change your activities already but it's still there so you should see the doctor mm-hmm. so all right like thank you uh, doctor Tatara for uh, joining our today's podcast and uh, we got another, a lot of knowledge today and so If you're having a back pain or your back isn't feeling right, please do not hesitate to talk to the doctor or you can come to w a i t a n i Hospital. So we can help you discover what is causing your pain and we can make you feel better. And don't forget to follow us on Spotify and subscribe our YouTube channel to get the notification when we upload the new healthcare tips for you. So see you in the next episode. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ